Hey makers, this is Truveen and in this session I am going to talk about how you can format number with comma separated in Power Apps form. Yes, most of the time what happen here is people are expecting numbers to be formatted with comma similar like Excel. So, in order to implement this in Power Apps, we need to use some Power FX formula. So let's get started and check about that thing in detail with me. One more important announcement. I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family, do follow me on Instagram. The Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do check it out. So without wasting much time, let's get started and check with number formatting in Power Apps. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have opened one power apps form and now let's say whenever I am typing anything over here as a number it should format with the comma automatically. So how we can achieve this requirement for our new and edit form in power apps. So let's talk about that thing in detail with me. So first of all let me just open up my new form. So this is my new form. And first of all, what I wanted to achieve here is now let's say this is one of my field and I want to apply my number formatting onto this column. So first of all, select your data card. So this is the title data card and under that, that is a data card value. Now here, there are two important properties that you need to change. The first one is the default property, which is at this moment as parent.default. And second thing is that on change event for this data card value. Now on change now on on change event we basically want to convert our number with comma separated field. So how can we do that? Let's see that. For that basically we need to use one power fx formula which is text formula. So let's talk about that. So first of all Open your formula bar for on change event and now here we need to type a formula. The formula is very simple. Let me paste that formula over here. So here you can see that I have added one formula. The formula is I have used one set variable. The set variable name is formatted number. Inside that I am using one text function where I am passing value of data card value 1 meaning this is the id for your data card value which is data card value 1 so just copy this id and provide it to there so this is the id for data card value 1 dot text and basically i want to format this text as comma separated so i need to use a command dollar enus and then hash comma three times pound key right so this is how we set this variable now simply need to copy this variable and we need to provide that as a default property of this data card value. So just go here and just open the default property and instead of parent.default provide your variable and you are good to go. One more important thing on live description you also need to add one more thing once you set this variable you need to reset your data card value. So for that, just use reset data card value one, right? So this is the full code that you need to simply add. Now let's test this functionality. So let's say I'm just adding 5,000 and here we are. You can see the change. Let me add 50,000. You can see 5 lakhs. Here we are and 50 lakhs and here we are. Now, uh, let's say I'm just going to the home and now again I'm opening my new form, but still this value is not clearing. The reason is that we have not clear our set variable. So the set variable should be cleared on the new form, but edit form definitely whatever the value that is being stored in behind the scene, we just simply need to capture that value, right? So for that, you need to add one more code over here. So for that, just open up your screen on visible event now on the here you need to add your code the code is if form mode is equal to new 
then set the variable that we set here as blank else we need to provide current item dot selected dot text right so let's just paste our code so if form mode is equal to form mode dot new then formatted number is equal to blank else we need to set formatted number as selected item dot text so whenever we are redirecting from grid to this particular form we are using one of the variable to set our form so if you are not if your variable is different just go to the form property and just go to i just click on form input so if you just wanted to know which variable you need to pass then just go to the form property and just check the item property so whatever variable that you used here just use that and your property so my property name is title because it's a title data card right so simply go to the screen visible so i just use selected item dot title so whatever the value that is being stored in the backend which is passed as a variable value so let's run this and now let's check the outcome so i'm going here apply leave and now you can see the value has been reset successfully right so now let's do end-to-end -end testing i'm just adding one more leave here and now let me just add one leave description like this so you can see the value has been formatted now let me just store this thing I'm just clicking on save. Now I'm going to my leaves, and this is the value that we just stored. I'm clicking on edit, and on edit time as well, you can see the value is still been here. Now I'm making some changes, like and still the code is working. And let me just update and go to my leaves again. And here we are. The value has been updated successfully. So hope you get a clear idea on how you can format the number with your Power Apps new and edit form. If you have any question, feel free to add your question in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading regular content on Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel so make sure that you hit subscribe to never miss any updates from my channel if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital through win subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well if you are looking for any consultancy or training just click on this website it will redirecting you to this page go to the contact page and send your query to me if you are interested to follow me on all my different social media handles, then just click on this Twitter and Instagram icon. So you will never miss any updates from me. Instagram is a platform where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform in form of post, reels, IGTV. So you have Instagram learning as well. So do follow me. The ID is very simple, which is power platform guy. If you are interested to listen different audio podcast related power platform, then here is a podcast channel. Just click on that and it will redirecting you over here. From here, you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and many more. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.